Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to Plague Inc. Evolved Custom Scenarios, doing something a little bit different today. We are actually going to revisit a scenario that we have already attempted and lost, and I've never done that before, but I think that in this case it is warranted. I am speaking, of course, of the Phoenix Virus, which you already knew that if you saw the thumbnail. We did the Phoenix Virus last time, and um, we lost. We got a good chunk of the way through, but... Uh, I made some misplays that ultimately cost me the game, and at the end, I, I kind of made uh, some judgments about the game, thinking that maybe there was some rebalancing that needed to be done. And I still think that there are some tweaks that could be made to make the scenario better, but I don't think that my assessment was very fair or accurate. And most of it came down to my misplays, but also just kind of a lack of understanding how the scenario was going to work. And when I make mistakes like that, and I don't think that I've been fair to a scenario, I'm happy to do my due diligence own up to my mistake, and we're gonna give it another shot, because I actually think that the Phoenix Virus is a fantastic scenario. I have attempted it on my own in my spare time, and I have beaten it. It's actually kind of tough, but it's really well done, and there's a lot of customization, so I don't think I gave it a fair shake. We're gonna try it again, and hopefully you will forgive me for my misplays last time. Let's go ahead and stick with the trans stasis. I did try the pathostasis, but it didn't quite work out as well as I was hoping for. Let's move on and continue. Normal difficulty, Phoenix Virus, here we go. So we are starting off in Japan again. Don't have any opportunity to change that, unfortunately, but it's okay. And Japan actually presents a little bit of a challenge for me because it is a wealthy island. Wealthy being a little bit harder to spread on because of their better medicine. And islands because, well, you can't get land transmission, so you really have to rely on the airplanes and the boats to kind of get started. Now, as far as our transmission options, you're already familiar with Xeros, um, but that leads to Phoenix Schooling for increased uh, infectivity, especially in arid environments, Aerial Drift, and Insect 1, all of which I do not think offer any more mutation chance than we already start off with with Xeros. But then we have Cell Resuscitation and Simeon, uh, two that I did pick up pretty early on that do increase the mutation chance. And now that I have some prior knowledge of the scenario, uh, I know that symptoms can actually kind of screw your o screw you over if you're not being careful. So we're not gonna we're not gonna go for these as early as we did last time. I'm gonna focus on these three and hope that we can get through a little bit better without more mutation. Let's go ahead and grab Zero's Eclipse immediately to get an extra 12 DNA points. Now I know that I saw a lot of comments last time saying I was being kind of dumb for not going for the Zero's Eclipse. Uh, because they do give you more DNA than you pay for it. There is a penalty to this, though, guys. Namely, an extra uh, symptom, which maybe you don't want, because the symptoms don't necessarily help you as much in this scenario, but also a reduction in infectivity. I could pick this up right now and get 22 more DNA points, or actually a net gain of 12. Sure, but I'm also reducing my infectivity, and infectivity is actually kind of hard to come by in this scenario. That's why I was criticizing it last time, saying it could use a little bit more. I don't want to pick this up until I have to, because I don't want to reduce my infectivity, especially in the early stages of the game, where we're stuck on an island. A uh, man says his speech was probably the best speech ever. The populist politician was cheered by supporters for promising to always tell them what they want to hear. Experts also praised his pledge to ignore facts and oversimplify complex issues. Feel like that might be a stab at Donald Trump. Um... Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what that was just now. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab another level of Phoenix schooling right away. So we've increased our infectivity as much as we can pretty early on, and we've eliminated our severity so we don't get detected too early. Now, symptoms, you may have already noticed, uh, Cell Guard reduces infectivity, which I hate, and it also uh, increases lethality kind of early on. Really bad, we probably will mutate it early on, and we're going we're gonna to have to spend some points to try and get rid of it. Uh, for abilities, though, I'm going to focus a bit more on abilities this time than I did last time, because I actually think that there's a lot of options as far as using the abilities to kind of make up for the shortfalls of the transmission. So we're going to go for Zero's Modifier kind of early on to give us a little bit more environmental resistance, and we're probably going to grab Phoenix Antibody, or the drug resistance, a little early on as well. Because, Japan being a, a wealthy country, it means we're going to spread very, very slowly. And if we aren't spreading well in the host country, it's very difficult to get on a boat or a plane and start spreading to the rest of the world. And it's really important that we get to Greenland as quickly as we can. Why? Because of that event, make Greenland great again. Where they basically shut down the borders uh, early, before they're normally going to, and the ports and so on, and you're pretty much screwed. Now, the developer does say, um, in the description of the scenario that he's added this event, and can you find a way to break through the walls? Which kind of implies to me that there ought to be a way to break through the walls, 
and yet I have not found it. I have actually tried this scenario with uh, the cheats and unlimited DNA. I have attempted every single transmission, symptom, and ability, and I have not found it. So either I'm overlooking something, or there's a combo I was missing, or I don't know. There's some sort of prerequisite I have yet to figure out. It's kind of driving me nuts. If you guys have figured it out, please, please, please let me know in the comment section, because seriously, I'm, I'm banging my head against the wall. Gamers worldwide start worshipping a helix fossil. Ugh. Dead Space reference? I'm gonna go with a Dead Space reference. Alright, uh, as far as some abilities, I'm gonna go ahead and grab something different here. We're gonna go for Phase Shift. Allows it to change its form and hide within the body, making it harder for doctors to detect, reduces severity. So we're trying to go under the radar as much as we can to try and get to Greenland before they even notice us. Hopefully. At least before that frickin' event spire, uh, fires. Because last video, I actually did make a mistake. Now, this was kind of surprising. Um, there was, uh, there, we did get that event, and they shut down, but then we immediately infected the, the country, and I assumed that there was something weird going on where it says that they're locked down, but it actually gets us in for free, so who knows. No, I actually just didn't notice that right as that event fired, there was an infected ship just pulling into Greenland. So we got phenomenally lucky there. And then we still managed to botch the scenario because I wasn't paying attention. And that does happen sometimes, guys. And I apologize if I frustrated you. Um, I don't know if you've, if you've ever heard of a phenomenon called the YouTuber's Curse. But basically, it's a, it's a known issue where uh, a person can be very good at a particular video game and very knowledgeable. And then as soon as they seem to sit down in front of the camera and record a scenario, they start making really stupid mistakes. They don't read things through. They overlook obvious things. Right? My personal theory is that uh, that happens because we're dividing our attention, right? On one hand, I'm trying to play the game. On the other, I'm trying to make engaging and accurate commentary. And because of my divided attention, uh, I am more prone to mistakes than I otherwise would have been. I'm going to go ahead and grab Simeon, even though that's a little mutation chance, because I would like a bit more rural and urban transmission. So that's going to happen, and I don't pretend to be the perfect player. I think I'm pretty good at Plague Inc. I do a lot of good Mega Brutal stuff, but... You know, for those of you who are new to the channel, and I know that there are a lot of you, um, this custom scenario stuff is really just about having fun and experiencing the creativity of the Steam Workshop. It's not about getting the perfect play, and I will make mistakes, and when I do, I will try to own up to it. You know, I'm not so proud as to say, oh, I'm, I'm a perfect player. No, I'm not. I'll screw some stuff up sometimes. It does happen. But I try my best, and uh, we try to have fun and just kind of laugh it off, so... I say that because I did see some a little bit less than savory comments in the last video, and that's fine. I mean, it is the internet. I, I expect some people to kind of um, take it the wrong way, or they vent their frustration, or maybe they just, they just feel better about themselves for putting other people down. I mean, I don't know. And that's your prerogative. That's your problem. At the end of the day, I'm not that thin-skinned. I don't really care that much. But for those of you who, who just are genuinely frustrated... I thought I'd let you know. And that's that's all it is. There are going to be mistakes, and I apologize. And if you find something that's better, by all means, let me know. I'd be happy to read that stuff in the comment section. I really would. You know, that does not offend me in the slightest. Let's go ahead and grab Phase Shift Level 2 to reduce our severity even further, making it very unlikely we get detected. I'm hoping that we spread a little bit faster in Russia and get lucky with a boat to go off to Greenland. Now, one thing I can do, right, if I'm worried about mutation in this scenario, is just hold off on getting Phoenix Stage 2 until I absolutely have to. Now, this does reduce severity, which is actually not so bad. I'm, I'm happy with taking this, but by not unlocking new symptoms, I can kind of limit the damage that is done um, by the uh, mutation chance, making sure that nothing really bad gets out there. Now, at the same time, I'm trying to get literally as much infectivity as I can get my hands on, because, good lord, it is kind of difficult to get infectivity. And my critique of this game... It does still stand a little bit. I, I do think that a little bit more infectivity in this scenario would be wise. But, you know, maybe they disagree. Uh, and, you know, that's fine. I mean, there are multiple paths to victory. You know, I was a little bit harsh last time thinking that there was only one optimal way. And there is definitely an optimal way to play the scenario. I've decided this. You know, I can, I can win but only get one star. Like, there is definitely a proper way to play it. And I haven't figured it out. But you can win. And I was, I was being needlessly harsh on it, so... You know, again, that's why I'm doing this again. Let's go ahead and grab Phoenix Stage Level 2. We're going to unlock some new things. Specifically, I'd like to uh, unlock the Aqueous Aegis. Now, this is slightly lethal, which bothers me a little bit. It is much, much more likely that we will get detected by doing this. Uh, I am going to grab Aerial Drift instead, at least for now. And we'll see how that works out. 
that lethality alone could be all it takes for Greenland to end up shutting down their borders, and that would be a bit of a problem. We are going to grab Cell Guard because that's a lot more infectivity. It's fairly expensive, 25, um, 25 new points, but again, I really, really need to get into Greenland. What's this? A new virus found to harden skin. After a citizen has discovered his increasingly hard skin, he decided to... Uh-oh. There are multiple ways of getting detected in this scenario, and that's, that's what happened. He decided to visit his local doctor, only to find out he is infected with a new virus known as Phoenix Virus. Not much is known, and the doctor recommends looking into this new virus immediately. So even though we have, like, no severity and we've gone under the radar, we got detected. I was not aware that you would get an event for taking Cell Guard level 3. There's actually the same sort of thing will happen if you get Frenzy Insect, which we'll go ahead and grab now, because we've already been detected. If you take Frenzy Insect, you will guarantee that you get detected as well. So that's something you should be aware of. Japanese admits cause of virus as part of their immortality project. We have dopamine inhibitor. I still am not spreading very... Oh, God! Dang it, Greenland! This is what I'm talking about! There's got to be a way to get into Greenland. Once you get detected, you're just screwed. Locks down all borders. Yes, I know. I, I It frustrates me because there is a way to do it. I swear to God, there's a way to do it. There has to be. Unless the developer actually didn't put in the solution. Maybe. Let's go ahead and grab Aqueous Aegis since we've already got detected and we've already locked it down. Cell resuscitation, sure, why not? But I cannot, for the life of me, figure out what it is. There has to be a way to get into Greenland. Japan blamed for social withdrawal. Yeah. I don't know. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to pause this video, and I'm going to try looking for a solution online. Well, I'm not really finding anything. Um, there's only one idea I've got. One idea that might work. And that's this whole LS cult thing which I have yet to really figure out how it works, but maybe there is one symptom, one way down here that I am aware of that might work for us. So the LS Cult, I don't ever think I've ever seen like an event for it, but you can eventually get to the point where there's like there's supposed cultists somewhere and you can tell them uh, through the virus to go and like suicide bomb research facilities and stuff. Now there aren't like, it's not like the simian flu or the uh, necroa virus, so there are actual buildings, but presumably they go and they attack uh, and increase lethality in like rich countries that have a lot of cure contribution. Maybe, just maybe, it has a hidden effect where it also attacks Greenland? I'm not too sure. So for now we're gonna play kind of as we normally would. Um, and, ugh, mm, boy, well, we'll see what happens. We're going to kill some people. We're going to get our mutations and stuff. Um, and we're going to save up some DNA, try to make sure that the cure doesn't become a problem. And then we're, we're going to focus down the right-hand side of the symptom tree. There actually are two different ways of destroying the world, by the way. Uh, they're separate. They're kind of separate victory conditions. So one is, uh, it actually comes to a point where it forces you to start regenerating tissue and people seem to live for a long time, but it actually will send them into a comatose state. They basically hibernate and fall asleep forever, and that's how you destroy the world. The other tree to the right is just pure lethality. So you actually don't want to go down both. Not that that's easy to help, because, you know, the, uh, <laughs> that's not something you can necessarily control because mutations are such a thing, but we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and preemptively grab Alpha T517 immunity. And uh, the reason for that being because I want to make sure that I have enough DNA so when they start working on that part of the cure, we'll be okay. Uh, we'll see if it works or not. I do know that when the event fires for the alpha cure, it'll just be like right... Oh, God dang! They were already working on it and now they're immediately going to start working on the beta cure? Okay, now that's bullcrap. So it looks to me like what happens is we just evolved this uh, preemptively, assuming that once they release the alpha will immediately shut it down, because that's what's happened to me in the past, and that works with beta. If I had evolved beta before they just announced that, it would immediately say it's been evolved to be resistant to the beta strain. But it looks like, because I did that preemptively with alpha, they just skipped straight on to beta, in which case I'm probably screwed now, and I'm going to have to restart the scenario again. <sighs> okay, that, yeah, that's, um, that's an error. That, that's a glitch, and that's what I had been afraid of last time when I saved my points, because I was afraid that maybe if I did it preemptively, it actually would come back to bite me. It looks like that did happen this time. It hasn't done that to me thus far. 
uh, in my other playthroughs, but today it did, so great. Now I've got it on camera. There's a few people dying, but not a lot. Global research focused on the cure. Yeah, great. We're pretty much just screwed at this point. We can't possibly get enough lethality to get enough DNA to actually get beta 5, 6, 7 immunity. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I can't get into Greenland. Um, so what's probably going to end up having to happen is I'm going to restart the scenario. I'm not going to start the recording over again. I'm just going to... I'm just going to restart the scenario, do exactly what I was doing before, and just cut ahead, and hopefully this time we haven't gotten screwed over. So, stand by, uh, I will be at- wait, 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 nope, 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 they actually just gave us some free DNA. Now I am worried they're going to move right on to Gamma, and I'm still screwed. Yep, now, okay, yeah, they're moving right on to Gamma, so they're just going to start exponentially working on the cure again, and I definitely can't get enough cure. Yeah, no, that's, that's a bit of a flaw. All right. Same plan. Go back to plan B. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna restart the scenario. Be right back. Okay, see now in this case we actually happened to get lucky and uh, using the exact same strategy, a boat got to Greenland. So, I guess we don't have to worry about make Greenland great again this time, but nonetheless, I'm gonna go down the same path I was gonna go with the symptoms as before and show you what I'm thinking will work. And you guys can try it on your own and tell me if it actually does work as I thought. Let's go ahead and grab Simeon level 2. I mean, at this point, we've gotten into pretty much every country in the world, so I'm not feeling too worried about it. Uh, and I will go ahead and grab... Do I want to go for Phoenix Sage level 3? Yeah, let's go ahead and unlock that now. That will give us access to the Gamma immunity. Worrying evolution of the Phoenix, they are aware that we've moved on. And by the way, before people freak out on me in the last uh, attempt before I just did that cut... No, I didn't forget that I could have done a zero Eclipse, I just knew that it wouldn't have been enough DNA. So, it wouldn't have mattered. Um, that's the only reason I didn't do it, I didn't forget. So, either way. Scientists reveal humanity's last hope. Alright, they've moved straight on to the next cure thing, and this time it's going to be 38 points. I think we can get to 38, though, that should be no problem. Accelerated cell death, how nice. Grab that, done. Now, there actually is a nice little uh, bonus when you finish off all of the Phoenix stages and the Gamma. For only 17 points, we can get Cure Retaliation, which will allow us to get DNA points from popping blue bubbles, as well as setting back the Cure Research, which I like a lot. That's going to be pretty helpful for us. A good, reliable uh, source of DNA? You know, what's not to like? Now, let's see if I can actually get enough DNA to finish off this um, symptoms tree that I was looking for, because there's actually no healthy people left in the world. That worked so much better than last time, but it's, it's completely luck-based, which gets very frustrating very quickly. All right. Serotonin inhibitor, mutated. Let's take a look at the symptoms. Okay, so we want to go down the right tree, which means I need to get electrical discharge next. I'm not sure if I can get enough DNA to actually make this happen, is the funny thing. Um, I'm not too sure what I could have done differently. We've gotten a lot of transmissions, yes, but really no more um, abilities than we absolutely needed. And now I still don't have enough DNA to actually work down that way. See, if, if it is what I'm thinking of, if it is what I'm thinking of, then I will say that the Make Greenland Great Again thing is actually a little bit too restrictive. Host emotional instability, we get extra DNA and... Yeah, that's just it. Extra severity and lethality and extra bonus DNA. Sweet. Electrical discharge, viral eccentricism, which slows down cure developments. That leads to tracheal rupture or spontaneous hepatic rupture. Like a hole in the throat. And it'll lead down to something here, which will lead down to affecting the LS cult. Which I think is what we would need in order to uh, break down Greenland's walls. I think. I don't know, but I think. You have to get all of these. That's so much DNA that you need to get. Maybe the only way to play this scenario effectively is to go for the symptostasis, because if you don't get Greenland, you're screwed. Maybe. That, that may be entirely it. This, the, way, the way to beat this scenario is to try symptostasis. I'm not sure. Could be. Dazzling combustion. The virus forces secretion of oil around the whole body before setting it ablaze a few days later with its electrical discharge. Might kill the host spectacularly. Then we have Lightning Scorched Cult. This is the LS Cult. Combination of fire and electricity protected by virus's cell guard, drives infected crazy to kill people, increases all stats, and that will lead to two more options, including the suicide bombers, which I suspect is what we would need. Erratic symptoms dazzles scientists. Combination of unrelated symptoms such as spontaneous human combustion, burst in windpipe, and breakdown of liver causes scientists to question the true nature of this virus. Cure research set back, but severity and lethality significantly increased. Well, now we're just going to win before I can actually check. Which is very disappointing. We need 31 points to at least show you. Can I get 31 points before it ends? Yes, I can. All right. Alternatives. 
Zero's Eclipse Overdrive. <laughs> Give me the DNA. Thank you. Okay, now we can look at it. <laughs> Lightning Scorched Cult. Then we have Suicide Bomber Retaliation. Insane cultists are drawn to scientists blowing themselves up near research facilities. Significantly sets back cure research and increases lethality. Or Spark Touch. Ellis Cult gains the ability to emit high voltages to kill people on touch. High chance they will electrocute themselves doing it. Infectivity and leth uh, lethality. Misspelled there. So, Suicide Bomber is the one I'm thinking of. Right? And if, make, if we had the Make Greenland Great Again thing... I suspect this is the only thing I can think of that would actually do it. And again, I've tried this on cheat mode with unlimited DNA. And I we just got the cult. Okay, the cult has merged. I did go all the way through every single uh, symptom, and I never got a pop-up telling me about it. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. What did that say? It said Greenland not so great again. Uh, damn it. Why do we have a second pop-up? I couldn't read it. Greenland not so great anymore. So maybe it's not actually about getting Suicide Bomber, maybe it's just about getting to the Lightning Scorched Cult. I don't know, but somewhere down the line, I am confident it is one of these three that will get rid of the Make Greenland Great Again. That's tough to deal with. That's actually really hard, because look how many symptoms you have to go through. And it's not just by going cell guard, electrical discharge, in a very direct path. No, you have to go up and down here, and then here, and then both of these, and then this and this. That's a lot of DNA. So, I'm kind of suspecting that with this scenario, you have to get the Symptostasis to have a chance. And we only got one star there, so I know that I didn't take the most optimal path, but I'm not sure what I could have done better. I don't know, maybe it really does come down to the Symptostasis. It's a really cool scenario, though. If you can't tell, I like it a lot, because look how much freaking customization was in that thing! So many custom transmissions, all the abilities, all the symptoms, and there are a lot of symptoms. I mean, I already told you that they had a hibernation option too. Like, there's even there's a whole other path to go down. There's a lot involved in this scenario. I do still think that it could use a little bit more infectivity in the beginning. I think the scenario is a little bit on the slower side. It could use a little bit more. I also kind of wonder if the Make Greenland Great Again thing, as it currently stands, is a little too punishing. Maybe. But again, if you guys have figured out what exactly it does take, I mean, I'm just speculating about how to get rid of Make Greenland to get great again, but if you've found a way and I'm wrong, please, please, please let me know in the comment section, because I really would like to find out for sure. But yeah, it's a really good scenario with a ton of creativity, and I love that about it, and it absolutely deserves a thumbs up. Big freaking time. Couple minor things that I would change, but that's about it. So I hope that I've redeemed myself, I hope that I've played this a little bit more intelligently, um, Greenland's still a jerk. We all hate Greenland. It's just, just, just kind of goes without saying, I would think. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. Leave a comment with your suggestions on what to do next. Uh, the rest of this week will be taken up with a couple of different suggestions that I have seen from commenters, but I am looking to increase my roster and subscribe to us with more stuff, so let me know what you'd like to see. And of course, subscribe if you have not already. My name has been Provis. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.